to construct the perfect leg workout. I like to split my legs in two, front and back. Today we're gonna do the front. What is that? Quads, quads for the gods. So check it out. It's gonna consist of four things. Compound movement, like the squat, the goblet squat, or the front squat, okay? The second movement will be a machine. Leg press, hack squat, pendulum squat, something like that. Third exercise, unilateral movement, like a, I don't know, let's say a pistol squat or something using one leg. That would be the third exercise. And we're gonna show you an option there. And the fourth exercise will be a leg extension or a variation of leg extension. First thing we're gonna do is the squat. With the squat using your entire body, your core, your legs, everything. We start with this, go as heavy as possible, do as many sets as you'd like to do. Normally I do five to 10 sets, working up in weight till my max. And my max, generally, I'll do three reps of my heaviest set. I like to pyramid, and I'll start with around, I don't know, 10, 10 reps of my lighter sets when I start. So squats are where it's at. Come in. All right. So again, look at an imaginary object, 10 feet in front of you on the floor. Maintain neutral spine, chest out. All right, so that's your first exercise. All right, do these as many sets as you want. Generally speaking, if you're doing three plates, do one, one plate for the first set, two plates for the second, three for the third. If that's your max set, you could do a little more or you could stop there. Depends on your rep and set scheme, but you want to definitely start with squats. So we did the squat, man, we just crushed squats. Now when we film these videos, we actually do the workouts. We don't show you the whole workout because that'd be like a 40 minute video. But we crushed squats, what we did, we did one plate, we did about, let's say 10 reps, two plates for five, three plates for three. Then I went up to 365 today. Well, actually, whatever that duffalo bar is, what a 375, 385 for a couple of reps. And then what we did is we worked back down to three plates for a few, two plates for a few, one plate for a few. So again, your rep scheme and your set scheme is up to you, but always start with squats. The next will be a movement that focuses on the legs, but is a more compound movement, not a leg extension. Here I'm talking the hack squat, a leg press, a swing squat, a pendulum squat, some kind of leg press or squat machine. So here we're gonna come in, done the leg press tutorials. Whether you do high, low, or mid is up to you. Since this is a quad dominant leg day, I will recommend a standard leg press. Basically straight up, Keep make sure you push through your heels, come down all the way right before your back rounds, boom. So on these, You've done your heavy compound squats. More hypertrophy range, eight to 20 reps, anywhere between three and five sets. So you've done your squats, you've done your leg press. Next, you move on to a unilateral movement. I'm gonna show you the Bulgarian split squat. What you're gonna wanna do, get yourself a bench and a couple dumbbells. You're gonna set up one leg in front of the other, get your weight. and really focus on that front leg, driving up with the quad. There are different ways you can place your leg. Go out a little bit further. If you wanna activate a little bit more glute, bring it in if you really wanna focus on that quad. Make sure you hit that 90 degree angle. What this is gonna do, create balance. Create symmetry in your workout. Like when you're doing a curl with your arms, gonna be the same kind of thing. Making sure you're getting those full reps with each leg. Do these for three to four sets, six to 10 reps per side. So 12 to 20 reps. Take a picture of this, this is gangster. Just kidding guys, we're gonna finish it off with a nice isolation movement. Now, I showed you guys in prior videos how to do leg extension with medicine ball. You can do sissy squats if you're at home. Leg extension, bro, leg extension. My advice to you is to go light. I hate leg extensions because the pressure they put on your knee and your ACL. But if you go light and you just focus on the contraction, there's nothing wrong with them. Squeeze at the top. Get that squeeze. Again, it's light, so I'm not putting as much pressure. We've already overloaded the muscle. I want you to get a constant squeeze at the top. Set the machine where it comes down right here, not too far. You wanna come down where it's about 90 degrees and up. 
and up and squeeze and up. Now on these, I don't know how many reps I'm doing because I'm talking. I want you to do three to four sets of about 20 reps. This will flush it out, so get nutrients flowing in your blood, and it will help kickstart your recovery for the next day after doing all the heavy stuff. So there is your perfect workout. You start compound squat movement. You then move to a leg press, hack squat, some kind of machine pressing movement. You move on to a unilateral movement, bringing your entire body, your coordination, your balance. Finish, isolation. That's how you do it. Reps and sets, that's up to you. A beginner is gonna do less reps, less weight, and probably less sets than an intermediate or advanced. So again, adjust this to your needs, but that is how you build the perfect quad dominant leg day. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Instagram at Mark Lobliner, Facebook at Mark Lobliner, Twitter at Mark Lobliner. The dude you saw on exercise through that meatball, that's Matt A. Morano on all the social medias. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. That's not a game.